you know, I think it's time I step out of my comfort zone and do something different. I've been doing PC games for a long time and I've been thinking, is it time for a change? My answer is yes, because even I admit doing PC games again and again gets old. So why am I doing an Xbox 360 game? Because... It's time. Gears of War is a third-person shooter franchise that got its start in 2006 and 18 years later there have been five games and three spin-offs. But this isn't what this video is about. This is about the first Gears of War game. And the reason why I got an Xbox 360. And you can't argue with success and the first game did that. More on that later. Anyways, the first Gears of War game was released on November 7, 2006 for the Xbox 360. The story follows Marcus Phoenix, a prisoner of war who was reinstated into the COG, the Coalition of Governments, 14 years after E-Day doing only 4 years in prison. Marcus and Dom rejoin Delta Squad in their fight against the Locust. As the game moves on, the plot begins to thicken and more is revealed which makes for a compelling story. The gameplay isn't your typical third person shooter, you have to rely on tactics and cover to beat back the Locust rather than brute force. This is a breath of fresh air for those who are tired of the cliché run and gun shooters. One unique feature is that you don't get a health bar and no health kits are available. Instead, players have to rely on the Crimson Omen logo. The opaquer, the closer you are to death. The only way to make it go away is to take cover. This would become a staple throughout the entire series. The controls, while some would argue that shooters belong on PC, this is one of few games that works fine on a console. You can either use tank controls or keyboard and mouse-esque controls. Meaning that the left stick moves while the right stick looks and aims. Shooting may seem weird at first, but after a while, you get the hang of it. I briefly mentioned the cover system, but this too would also become a staple throughout the series and your only way to survive. Let's not forget the Locusts who became popular in their own right. Yup, the Locusts themselves became a huge hit with the public. But there's one thing that really steals the show. And that is the Lancer, primary arm for the COG. No matter how many times you use the chainsaw, it never gets old. Nothing says satisfaction like a chainsaw locust. There is multiplayer, but the servers are down and surprisingly, there aren't bots to play against. Bots would be included in Gears 2 and onward. But overall, the first game proved to be a critical and commercial success. While multiplayer may not be around, don't let that ruin your experience. Before I forget, let me mention the graphics. They're dark, gritty, war-torn, and couldn't look any better despite the Unreal Engine 3. As the series progresses, we will see more characters, more locations, more weapons, more locusts, and more things to come. So for now, let's just enjoy the first game and also a 10 out of 10.